it's so much easier for me to make a video so I'll upload it um, I always go by gear but first I'm gonna see what water heroes you have and oh great so you got this guy everybody loves him um, the free card we get is gonna be your leader because they're moving towards affinity slash event type intensity so it will be a water commander that gives every water commander on your team 300 times and then they themselves will have the new 10 time power instead of um two times against fire okay so he increases healing attack plus okay with intensity up to 500 if you have eight power jumps on the board he gets 10 times every three turns he creates six ones damn that's awesome i want that card okay and then with them you have hard-hearted josephine and the other dude so she becomes immune to damage if she's hit which means you trigger her when the turn counter says two then you trigger her make a match on turn one she'll have been triggered and will get hit um, she will heal for 5% recovery. Okay, that's not that big a deal. Um, my elf guy does cool stuff, like puts three power gem fours down. Okay. So she, every time she attacks, so on attack, every time you make just any water gem match, she'll create five water gems. Plus one if resilient is active. I forget who has resilient. No, he's sure shot. So I think there was another hero. Yeah, there's another hero from this deck that created the resilient thing, and you don't have that, but that's all right. So with those three, you have the relic for it, but um, I think think did you where's the gun yeah right here so you'll get an attack boost you'll get four water gems on the board at the beginning you get your human intensity boosted every turn which is awesome and you get power gem twos um if there's 12 on the board so let's see whoops five per turn okay So I'm just looking up the intensity you're going to get here. Um, he doesn't generate it, but he uses it. So he increases humans' attack. So himself and your other two humans um, by half of their attack value plus 10% per 10. So that's five every turn from your relic. If Brazilian is active, so she doesn't increase intensity either. What does he do? Okay, see the ones that say 4%, 400% damage and HP for all your water, blah blah, in GBG. Never, ever, ever use these cards as your ally or as your leader card unless it's your GVG attack team because and I just freaking learned this like two weeks ago when you bring an ally with you you get to multiply their leader card bonus times your leader card bonus so here she's got 300 and you brought someone else in with 300 that's a nine time boost if you had him up you would get just the three from your leader and that blew my mind anyway back to looking for intensity okay he doesn't it's just your relic that builds intensity five per turn so you would have to 
be super fast um, making small matches without losing power gems and five per turn to do anything that's stupid. But anyway, they put down gems is the point. She becomes immune and she heals and she drops five water gems. He boosts attack by 35 and don't worry about the other. Um, if there are eight power gems, he, he does a 10 times boost. Every three turns, he creates four power gem eyes. Okay, so eight water power gem ones on the board. So if he's done his thing on the third turn, he'll get four that you need down. And then this guy was by eight also, right? Yes. But does he put? Yeah. So every third turn you're gonna get, well, how many was it? <laughs> Sorry. Four. Oh, you're gonna get ten. So yeah, you're gonna meet the requirements for him and um, the Native American cowboy on that third turn he's gonna put six down other guys gonna put four and then that meets his requirements for increasing human attack times ten so you've got three thousand here three thousand there and 4,000 there, so that's 10k times 10, so you get a 100k um, hit from the combo of the three of them, plus the boost of three times from, so 300k every turn, that's pretty great. Also, um, you have Tanu, who's a healer, and he puts gems down, that's all I know about him. He's a corrupt. You have the relic for him. It's just at a level one, so I'd power it up if you're going to use him. And then you have another corrupt that goes with him up here, Crowblade. He puts down these power gems and the celebration tiles. So he puts down two power gems. Also, don't make them your leaders. See how it says 400 and GVG? Nope. He goes to the left or the right. Um, they create power gem twos above them for four turns. Nice. So you're getting power gem and more power gems for four turns. Every two turns. That's nice. Okay. So I would definitely use him and Tanu and your three humans to start with. And um, just don't use him as a leader or him as a leader. And then also Drake Vepo, Drake Vepo, he's a slayer or commander. Um, he's fable intensity and he heals. He creates five and five and you have two of them and you have his relic also. And then I didn't really see anything of interest except you do have summertime, a bunch of summertime Aphrodites. And she puts down two power gem ones. If there's a two on there, you get three ones. She creates a two every third time you've matched gems in a row. So that's something to think about. Also, she's two types. She's a special and a god. So if you go to your gear, look, I already know. I'm familiar with them. So this is Summertime Aphrodite's. This is Drake Zeppos, and then this is for the Water Slayer, which you're not using. Um, we're not using Tex. And here's the gun that goes with the Water Humans. And down here, yeah, you've got this one. This is the Corrupt for Tanu and Crowblade. But I would um, power it up to at least 12. 
because you get it up flat.